Today I'm going to show you how I did this Bellatrix Lestrange cosplay. Specifically, this video is going to cover how I did the makeup and hair. This is a wig, obviously. My normal hair would not do this in a million years. This is part one of my Bellatrix tutorial. In the second part, I'm going to show you how I did this dress. I made this myself and how I did her corset, which I will put on over it. And I made that out of all real leather and it was crazy. <laughs> And I'm really excited with how it turned out. I was a little bit nervous with the wig situation, but I think it turned out good. It just has to have the energy of Bellatrix, and I think it does. I can't really see, but that's all part of her, it's all part of her illusion. Good morning, everyone. It's the morning of my Bellatrix shoot, so I'm gonna start my transformation off with tattoos. Normally, I draw out my tattoos on my iPad and print them out on tattoo paper, but I've been rushing to get this cosplay done. So as a result, I messed up my tattoos and I printed them backwards. You're supposed to mirror them. And I just was like having printer issues and I totally forgot. So I'm gonna draw on her neck tattoo with a Sharpie and just um, use the dark mark tattoo I printed out and it'll be backwards and then we'll just have to be fine with it. That's as good as it's gonna get. Okay, and then I'm gonna put Prosade over it like I always do. So you just put a thin layer on. Okay, it feels dry. And now I'm just taking the brush and I'm going to put this over it. This helps it from being sticky, which is awesome. And then you can see it kind of build it out a little bit more. So it looks aged. <sighs> anyway, so I printed a couple versions this one's more detailed, this one is not. I think I'm gonna use the more detailed. Q-tip in the Pros 8 again. And I'm gonna cover the area where I want it. Then you use normal tattoo, temporary tattoo method, and then stick it. It's extra sticky. And then it'll start coming off on its own when it's ready. Voila. And go back in, prosade on top, thin layer. And then when it glides over without getting stuck, it's done. Okay, and now I have the tattoos on, it's time for makeup. I've decided to go with my palest concealer, which I use for Harley Quinn. It's Kat Von D's Lock It Foundation in color light 41 neutral, but I'm starting first with primer. So this is just Fenty Beauty Primer. Okay, so my skin looks worse than I did before with no makeup, but that's okay. Her brows are not as elongated as mine and they're a little thinner in the middle. So I'm going to try to mimic that shape with this Benefit 24 hour brow setter. So I'm using this Makeup Revolution Concealer Color C1. I'm using Anastasia Brow Definer pencil and I'm just filling in the middle. It looks different. Before I start contouring my face, I'm going to do the eyes. I kind of just want it to look like she had makeup on at one point several days ago and it's still a little bit happening. This Lorac Pro 3 palette, I'm starting with this bronze. It's called Rose Bronze. Taking this brush, it's just floofy or all over the lid. I'm using this old Too Faced palette for this gray I want here. I want to make my face look like as hollow as possible. Her eyes are very round and big and mine are not. So I'm going to put a little bit of darker color on the outside, but keep that round shape. Like I'm not going to venture out into the side of my eye. I think I'm just going to use this darker purple, it's one step over. And just very subtle 
round out. And people on TikTok do this and it, they're like, oh, it makes you look sick. Perfect. In this bright pink, they look sick now. Perfect. Eyeliner, so I'm using the pencil side of this Tarte Double Take eyeliner. And it's messy, so that's good. First, I'm just gonna go in with this. It might have like a little charcoal left on it. Take this tiny gray eyeshadow. And go in here even more. That's so much better. I'm gonna really have to blend that out though. The same gray and go under my chin. That looks, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere for sure. I think the best would be to use a lip liner and then try to rub it off. She has no Cupid, is this called the Cupid's bow? Whatever that thing is, I'm just gonna draw right over mine. Okay, before I put the wig on, now that the makeup is done, I'm gonna put this on because I feel like once the wig's on, it's not gonna be easy. Okay, I'll be back. We're back. This is what it looks like. I don't have the corset on because I don't need to do that to myself until it's time for the photo shoot, but we're serving which. So for my Bellatrix wig, I actually ended up repurposing my Wonder Woman wig, which is a lace front human hair black wig. For styling, I'm using the smallest curler I could find on Amazon and just going through the entire wig. This took me hours to do and I just curled it in all different directions to give it as messy of a look as possible. Wig time. Whoa, <laughs> this is really armpits free. <laughs> this better be what I hope it is. Yay, it's one of the little black netted ones. Now I'm gonna use, again, my trusty Prosade and Q-tips because it just destroys any brush I ever use. I'm actually gonna glue the wig cap down because I have to travel like 45 minutes to get to where I'm taking the photo shoot. good so far. Okay, I'm a lot happier than I thought I was gonna be to start off. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> I was a little bit nervous because of the wig situation. I even bought a second wig on Amazon that was uh, longer because I thought it was gonna be too short, but this has Bellatrix energy. So now we're just gonna glue the entire thing down and I'm just gonna go for it. We're gonna glue both the cap and to my forehead. Okay, now we have to finish styling it and kind of find the part here. <laughs> the puffier, the better. Oh, it's perfect. I also, she's like a gray streak right here. I want to use dry shampoo, but I can't find any. So I'm hoping that this volume spray comes out white. If I put a lot on and it doesn't. Okay, I gotta find dry shampoo. One minute. Okay, I couldn't find dry shampoo, but I'm gonna improvise and use this powder and regular hairspray. Okay, I think it's done. 
Okay, well that covers it for the makeup and the wig. I'm so excited with how it turned out. I can't wait to go take my pictures. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you liked it and I hope you come back for more cosplay content in the future. Oh, I'm gonna cut over. Okay, bye.